right, uh, let's see. What we have is a uh, turn to turn shorting on two windings of the uh, secondary here. There's two of them right next to each other, one there and one there. We have another one farther up and another one that was farther down. Um, what happened is there was an uh, injury, a nick or something that broke the insulation between uh, two of the windings here. And we had a little arc formed and that carbonized the coating and the insulation on the wire as well. If you got a million volts across a Tesla coil and there's a thousand turns of wire, that means from one winding to the next is a thousand volts. So that jumped an arc and it burned and we kind of had some smoke coming out of here. So what I'm doing is I'm very gingerly lifting the coating and tearing it away Depending on how your coil is coated, this may be easy or difficult. This is, I'm being extra careful slow so I don't damage the wires underneath, but it's coming up fairly. You can see I'm getting a big pucker right there. It's coming up fairly easily. And my blade is pointed away from the copper wire, so I don't want to nick the insulation anymore and cause another problem. But I want to go, I don't know, an inch and a half down on each side from where our problem is. From there. And also up as well. Now, when I'm done, I'm going to be recoating this whole area but I need enough to get the patch I'm going to use here in place. Okay, now, there's the injury right what there. The, the wire is already bare copper, so I can dig in here a little more aggressively without having to worry about damaging anything because it's already damaged. And the copper will stretch ever so slightly so I want to generate a pucker in the wire so I can work under it. I'm going to move to a uh, screwdriver so I don't have as great a chance of nicking things with the uh, X-Acto blade. There, now I've lifted the wire a little and I'm stretching it a little. Okay, so there's one of our injured wires right there. I'm going to move that up a little bit. Now I'm going to work on the other injured wire and pry it up and stretch it a little as well. I can use my first wire as a bit of a fulcrum at this point. Okay, now, in the bottom we have a nice spot of carbon where it's all black. So I'm just going to scrape that away. This is the coating that seeped through the wires to get down to the PVC. The burn stuff as well. There's a bit of a pock mark on the tube itself that I'm attempting to just scratch out. The idea being to get as much of the carbon out of there as I can. Okay, so our copper wires for the windings that are still on the tube look pretty good. I got almost all the black goo that was down in there out. I don't want to play there too much because I don't want to scratch the existing wires. Now, I'm going to get a little bit more of a pucker there. I have some mylar. I thought I had more than that. 
Anyhow, I got uh, sheet protectors. I'll cut another piece. And that's mylar. And I'm going to cut a piece, a strip, wide enough to uh, cover the affected area. All right, now. I'm going to work it under one square under each wire, like that. Fold it down. Another square under the second wire. And a screwdriver and. that up a little to get me a spot, a spot to start. And fold that down. Okay, I got two more wires here that I'm going to work on as well. So I'll have four sheets here, but the idea is I hold everything up, we're going to put nail polish on there to coat all that, fold it down to expose the first wire, nail polish all that, fold both pieces down here to expose the third wire, nail polish, and then fold down and then nail polish there, and we'll be doing the next wires as well. So that will be our patch, it'll wind up looking pretty much exactly like that when we're done these pieces of plastic will be left to help insulate from one winding to the next. It won't look pretty, but it should work. We are patching with glow in the dark. Hey, hey Christina, I got something for you for Zom tonight. <laughs> oh, I'm going to like be real generous. I'm coating, oh, that's such a wonderful smell. I actually like that. I'm a little concerned that the plastic may prevent things from drying too quickly. Now, when we went to this, we ran into a little bit of trouble. We were getting arcing from that ground connection to the primary rail. So we insert that as a bit of a shield on the ground. Yep, there's one on the other one doing the same thing. Feel like running a car.
looks totally perfect to me. This video was made possible by a grant from the Future Girl Foundation. This video was made possible by thousands of private donations from members and viewers like you. Please visit thegeekgroup.org for more information on how you can donate and become a part of our dreams of Avalon.